Hello, my beautiful loves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Crosswatchers are welcome. Um, I do have a Virgo and Cancer-only channel. The links are below if you would like to check it out. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. If it doesn't resonate, that is okay. It's just not your story. Please keep in mind readings can be future predictive. And if you're leaving a comment, please be sure to have kindness and sympathy for anyone that may be going through a hard time. Okay. Um, I do not take personal readings, my loves. So any phone numbers that you see in the comment section below is not me. And um, if anyone should friend request you or reach out to you on social media, it is also not me. A reader that I can recommend is Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot um, to book a reading with her. The link is in the description box below. Guys, I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of noise. I have my window open because I'm hot. I'm getting over a massive sinus infection. I'm on day four of antibiotics and I feel so much better, but I'm hot. <laughs> so I have the window open. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo in love, please. Okay. We've got the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Tell me about Leo, please. I'm hearing somebody say you need to get a job. I don't know. Maybe if you're telling that to your kids or your person. I don't know. Eight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, five of wands, and the four of pentacles. Under the deck, we've got the queen of wands. We've got the justice card. We've got the seven of pentacles. Um, yeah, okay. So, Leo, this is what's happening here. What I'm feeling is we have somebody that could potentially be non-committal this could be someone that has one night stands or this could be somebody that does in fact need to figure out what they want to do for work okay um we're dealing with someone here that's extremely codependent unstable ungrounded and leo i feel like you're ready to walk away okay you're ready to start something new here Okay, um, with the five of wands and the four of, of pentacles, it's it's not going to be easy because this person is not going to want to let you go. Um, this person may have, you know, they may be jealous or envious that you're going to walk away and, you know, live this amazing life because I see you here with the ten of pentacles. Okay, with the justice card and the queen of wands and the seven of pentacles, I feel Leo, you know, that's you, that queen of wands energy. You feel like you can walk away with uh, a very, uh, with a clear conscience. You feel like you could walk away with a clear conscience because you've invested more than enough in this person to get their shit together and they just don't want to. This is somebody that maybe wants to be codependent on you financially or for whatever, for everything. I don't know. But I feel like, you know, you are uh, telling this person that, you know, I, you know what it is, Leo? I feel like you know that if you leave this situation uh, financially and and stability wise, you could find somebody that can work better with you as a teammate or as a person. Um, now, Leo, for some of you, you may be coming into a, an extreme amount of money. Maybe you're getting a better job. Maybe you open a business. You're coming into a lot of money and maybe you're tired of supporting somebody. Okay. Maybe you're tired of supporting somebody. Um, or Leo, this can also be an energy of you not wanting a relationship. You don't want a relationship. You just want to have one night stands right now or have a good time. And it's pissing people off because people want to hold on to you. Okay, that's another thing I'm seeing here too. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for Leo. And we've got the Fool card. You want to go, Leo. Uh, that, so again, again, this could be an energy of you just wanting to have a good time and have sex. You don't want anything committed, or it could be that you want to move to a different location. You may literally want to move somewhere different. King of Pentacles in the reverse um, with the seven of wands. You don't want to deal with people that need you for anything. You don't want to deal with people that are broke. You don't want to deal with people that are unstable, people that don't have jobs, people that are just clinging to you. Um, or it could be Leo that you just don't want to be committed to anything. Okay. 
Tell me about this Eight of Cups for Leo and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're really considered. You've got one foot out the door. You have one foot out the door. You see, look, the Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Leo, I feel like you feel that you would be so much happier on your own. You'd be able to achieve more on your own. You would be, and with the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups, you're talking to people about it. You're talking to people about it with the hermit. You're sitting here thinking about it, trying to figure out what to do. I, I feel like there's somebody here that is weighing you down. They're weighing you down from your highest potential and you're tired of it. Five of wands here for Leo with the six of cups. Tell me about the four of pentacles and the eight of swords. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. This person's going to try to guilt trip you, Leo. There, you know, Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. Like, especially if this is, this could be a child, Leo, where you're like, listen, you're grown now and I want to go. I want to travel. I want to retire. I want to do things. This could be a child saying, how could you? How could you leave me? How could you do this to me? Um, or this could be your love interest where you're, the, the love interest is saying, after all that I've done to you, after all that we've been through, after all the time we've been together, do you see what I'm saying? This is somebody that they're going to fight. They're not going to let you go easily. And with that, eight of swords energy and the four of pentacles this is somebody that wants to keep you bound leo they don't want to see you go do you see what i'm saying but with the chariot and the six of wands and the five of pentacles <laughs> you are you're gone you're getting in that car and you're going because you know that you know what's best for you you know what's best for you and you're going to do what's best for you. And what's best for you is to, with this Emperor energy and the Five of Pentacles, put your foot down. Yes, with that Three of Swords energy, it'll break their heart. But yes, with that Temperance card here, they will heal. Ten of Swords, you gotta, you gotta let it go. And you know you gotta let it go. You know you have to let it go. They'll get over it. You're in this energy of they'll get over it. You're not really worried about anyone else but yourself right now, Leo. You're really not worried about anyone else but yourself right now. And that's good. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Queen of Swords and we've got the Judgment card. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is somebody that's trying to think on how they can change your mind or get a second chance. Five of Swords and the Two of Cups, they are going to fight for this relationship. They're going to fight to get you to stay. I'm telling you right now, we've got the Ten of Cups and we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. They're saying, I won't, I'll, I'll commit, I'll do the right thing, I'll act right, I won't party anymore, I won't be immature anymore, I'll get a job, I'll do anything, just reconcile with me, take me back, don't leave me, don't leave me. Tell me about this judgment card and the two of swords, yeah, they're trying to block your exit, they're trying to block your exit, they will make any promise, uh, they will make any promise, five of swords, and the seven of pentacles, they will make any promise to get you to uh, invest in them again, okay? And not only that, but this person's going to bring up the past a lot. They're going to try to confuse you. Two of cups. And the four of cups. How can you leave me? Don't you love me? I'll have nothing without you. I can't be without you. Does this person really love Leo, though? The hanged man. I, I don't really feel like this is about love, Leo. I feel like this is about stalling your progress. This is about you investing in them, and that's pretty much it. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse with the tower. This is, let's see here, tell me about Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry about the noise, Leo. 
this person's entire world is going to come crashing down when you do this. But we are ending with the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. Two of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Leo, here's what's interesting. If you're coming to this reading wondering, Gina, am I making the right decision because I really feel that I should go and I should live my life and I should do what's best for me, will this person survive without me? Okay? If you're feeling guilty and you want to know if they will survive without you, uh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, they will. And it'll be the best thing that you could do for them because the connection between you and this person, it's not, it's not built on a good foundation. Okay. It's not. And I feel like once you do that, this person will find somebody new. They will find their forever person. Um, have you guys ever heard those sayings where it's like, Everything I ask you to do for me, you don't do, but then you meet someone new and you do it for them, okay? Uh, that's what's going to happen here. So the way this person treats you, they're not going to treat this new person because you leaving them snaps them into growing up. Okay, they're going to grow up here. I do feel like they, you know what I'm saying? They will have a very happy, loving future with somebody else. So, and I don't feel like that bothers you. I, I got to be honest. I don't feel that that bothers you. Um, I just feel like right now you're in an energy of, I really want to go, Gina, can you just let me know if this person is going to like survive without me? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. So Leo, I don't know where you stand here. I feel like you're the one walking away, but you could very well be the one being left. And if you are the one being left behind, them leaving you is your biggest blessing because you're about to have, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is a divine soulmate. Ten of Cups, a soulmate. Wheel of Fortune, unbelievable blessings. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy could be uh, extreme love. Ace of Cups, there's so much love here. You've got ten... 11 cups you've got 11 cups uh, and the two of wands another 11 you may be meeting your twin flame 11 11 you could be meeting your twin soul so this decision that's being made is gonna it's a win-win for everybody here it's a win-win for everyone okay so leo you know i i don't know where you stand here you could be on either side but either way nobody here loses i could promise you that it's the best decision that you can make for both of your futures okay so leo let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do leo and all 12 signs oh my head Leo and all 12 signs. Spirit, tell me about Leo and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. Leo and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. Leo and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces in love. Okay. All right, if we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the devil, we have the three of wands, and we've got the strength card, whoa. Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, there's a lot of sexual chemistry here, or this can straight up be a stalker, I don't know. But this person has a lot of passion towards you, and they hold back though, they're not showing it. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Um, this is someone that's feeling very jealous or possessive over you, and with that Eight of Wands, they're going to let you know. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Eight of Swords, we've got the Tower, and we have the Empress. Uh, Leo, if you're dealing with a Gemini, uh, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but some of you may be very shocked to find out that somebody is pregnant here and you are stuck with this person for life. Just saying. If we're dealing with a Cancer, we've got the Lover's Card, we've got the Ten of Swords, and we've got the King of Swords. Um, this is a third-party situation where somebody is being cut out of the picture. So I don't know if you're cutting someone out, the Cancer's cutting someone out, I don't know. But this is a third-party situation where somebody's going to be cut out. If we're dealing with a another Leo, Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles, there's some type of planning here on leaving something behind. 
So Leo, if you're dealing with another Leo, this person could be conspiring behind your back to leave you. So just be careful with that. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Moon card, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Leo, what is happening here? Leo, if we're dealing with a Virgo, something is happening here in secret, maybe with a third party. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Somebody here is doing something with a third party. Could be sexual or something that's going to be hurt. It'd be painful for you. If we're dealing with a Libra, if we're dealing with a Libra, King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Uh, Leo, if you're dealing with a Libra, this is long-term, stable commitment, could lead to marriage, a lot of love and commitment there. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the High Priestess, the Death card, and the Seven of Wands, both of you intuitively know that it's over. You guys can stay together, but the connection is over. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, if we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the Six of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands, and we've got the Judgment card. Someone here is deciding that they no longer want to give to this connection. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, Six of Wands, the Star card, and the Page of Cups. This is somebody that is going around telling everybody that will listen, everybody and their mother, that you guys are together or that they're dating you. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, Five of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Leo, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, you guys may fight a lot. You guys may butt heads a lot, but you guys are a true pair, and the sex between you guys is ridiculous. If we're dealing with a, a Pisces, Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Hanged Man, give it some time. You guys will reconcile and come together. There will be um, there will be a conversation that happens between you guys. Okay, you guys need some time to settle down, cool down, let tempers you know die down. Okay, all right, guys, I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Take care.